review what we learned in the last lecture. For breathing sphere, we observed the radiation characteristics in terms of K and KR. As a KR is a measure of the diameter of a breathing sphere with respect to wavelengths. The point is the measure of diameter. We are measuring the diameter not in MKS unit, but with respect to wavelengths of interest. And also, we measure radiation characteristics not in, for example, 100 meter from the center of the radiator, but in terms of the distance with respect to wavelengths. So if KR is very large, for example, over here, we call this is far field. Okay, when KR is very small, we call this is near field. But that concept is very important. And also we looked at the radiation characteristics of a breathing sphere. Okay, let me draw breathing sphere over here. In terms of the rear part of ZR, as well as imaginary part of ZR, ZR is a radiation impedance at R. Okay, ZA is the radiation impedance observed at R equal A, which is somewhat similar with what we learned for the case of a string driving point impedance. Okay. So, ZA is looking at how the wave can be propagating by oscillating the breathing sphere, right? So, for the for the uh, string this case the the driving point impedance over here that we denoted dm0 was look like j rho 0 c cotangent kl and l is the length between the driving point to the to the end of, I mean, to, to the uh, rigid wall, okay? For infinite string, ZM0, driving point impedance, is the same as the characteristic impedance of the medium. Okay, very similar things occur for the, for the breathing sphere case too. Okay, so what we obtained was the, if we normalize those things with rho zero c, then the, the uh, rear part of the radiation impedance look like, like this, behave like this, and that is Ka scale over 1 plus Ka scale type, right? Okay, and the imaginary part on the other, on the other hand look like a Ka over 1 plus Ka scale and that look like like this, okay? And it shares the same value at Ka 
equal to 1, that is 1 half. Okay, and what about the uh, power? Power? Radiated power. That look like, let me look at the text. And the power was look like same as the real part of the impedance. So it follows like this curve. And then we, what we can say is over here, we could say by increasing the frequency, meaning that by decreasing wavelengths by half, increasing frequency by twice, that will increase how much power over here. And the text analysis show that 3 dB, 6 dB per octave. Okay, 6 dB per octave. That means in this range, breathing sphere decreases the radiation power by increasing the wavelengths twice. For the, for the uh, trembling sphere case, we also measure that with respect to Ka and Kr and measure radiation impedance and the driving, sort of driving point impedance, normalized by rho zero c, we obtain somehow similar but different type of pattern that we can see from the text figure figure uh, 4.14 after heading not to non-trivial derivation and I'm sure uh, you follow the uh, order derivation uh, during the last two days if you did not if you did not maybe you can do it by doing the homework <laughs> okay the results show that the the uh, real part behaves kr to the force instead of kr ka to the to the square or, uh, or or kr to the square let me use ka square to be consistent with what i draw for the breathing spheres case and four plus ka to the force so uh Yeah, so in the far field, which means that when Ka getting large and large, it approach to 1 as we did over there. So we can draw the uh, similar graph for the real part of radiation impedance. Okay, but this is a function of Ka to the force. So, the so increase, the rate of increase over this range is rather stiff. Okay. For the uh, imaginary part, it behaves like uh, 2Ka plus Ka to the cube divided by 4 plus Ka to the fourth. 